Hi students, in this video we are going to learn coordinate geometry all the formulas. First formula, distance between the points x1, y1, x2, y2. Two points will be given to you. For example, 2, 3, 5, 6 find the distance. Two points are given means first point should be taken as x1, y1. First number is x1, second number is y1. In the second point, first number is x2, second number is y2. Then the distance will be, the point is mentioned as p. This point is mentioned as Q. The distance will be PQ. The distance between P and Q is PQ. Formula root of X2 minus X1 the whole square plus Y2 minus Y1 the whole square. This is a formula for finding the distance. You can uh, write X1 minus X2 also because when we are squaring that minus will become plus. So the next formula distance of a point from the origin from the origin only one point will be given from the origin what is the distance they will be asking you origin means 0 comma 0 so one of the point will become 0 and 0 the remaining one more number will be staying that point is x and y so formula is very easy x squared plus y squared because one more point became 0 the next formula midpoint Midpoint formula again two points will be given to you that point will be taken as first point is x1 y1 second point is x2 y2 will be given to you we have to find the midpoint midpoint formula x1 plus x2 by 2 comma y1 plus y2 by 2 this is a midpoint formula next we are going to learn internally in the ratio you have to find a point that is divide the line segment internally in the ratio m1 is to m2 so internally if they are asking means two points will be given to you definitely again the first point is x1 y1 second point is x2 y2 so this is m1 x2 plus m2 x1 by m1 plus m2 comma here everything should be in terms of x Next point everything will be in the terms of y. Again m1 y2 plus m2 y1 by m1 plus m2. We can keep it in mind very easily. Ratio will be added in the denominator in numerator also. But here you have to take the number. m1 if you are taking y1 you should not take. 1 1 will not come together. So 1 is 1 mean the next one is 2 like that we have to write it. That is the correct formula for internally. Same thing for externally also. Externally in the ratio m1 is to m2 is a question. So it's a ratio is given. Now the same formula for internally. Only the symbol will get the vary. You have to use the minus sign. Same formula m1 x2 minus m2 x1 by m1 minus m2. Here the same formula m1 y2 minus m2 y1 by m1 minus m2 this is a formula for externally next we are going to learn area of a triangle formed by three points three points are given to you we have to find the area of the particular triangle now the point should be taken as first point is x1 y1 second point is x2 y2 and third point is x3 y3 your formula will be half int the formula will be looking big it is easy to be near First, let's write all the x values. For example, first we have to write anyway first x1. After some terms, here it will be the x2. Then it will be the x3. Here it will be the multiplication value. Children, you just keep it in mind. 1, 2, 3. This is the order. 1, 2, 3. If 3 comes again, 1, 2, 3. Like that we have to take. We are, here we have taken 1. So the next number definitely it should be 2. So we have to write y2 minus y3. So 1, 2, 3 we are getting. Now here the starting number is 2. So we have to write 3. After 2 definitely 3 should come. So y3 minus 2 when 3 came. So which is missing? 1 is missing. That should be written as y1. Here 3 is the starting 1. Then after 3 we have to take 1 and 2. So y1 minus y2 we have to take. Then again we have to close it like this. This is a formula for finding area. Now we will move on to the next one, last one, collinear. So some condition will be given to you. If the points are collinear, find the value. Collinear means very easy. 
you have to take areas equal to 0. This area formula you have to equal to 0. This 1 by 2 also if you take it into other side that will become 0 only. So only one condition you should keep it in mind for collinear points area is 0 because collinear means the points are lying on the same line. So it cannot close any area if the points are away it can enclose some area. So this figure having some area it is enclosed in some area we can say when the points are on the straight line it can't enclose any area that's why we are taking as area is equal to 0. So these points are called as a collinear points. That's all students. Thank you for watching. If you like our video, subscribe our channel for more videos.